and damp is the theme as we start our Friday morning across West Central Ohio. Scattered showers ongoing throughout a vast majority of our counties. Currently looking at Paulding County, we have a couple showers, one near Melrose and one entering back into the village of Paulding. Across the heart of the viewing area along US Route 30, you're running occasionally into some showers from Van Wert to Lima as well over towards Beaver Dam and Upper Sandusky. And then towards the south, towards the US Route 33 corridor and point southward, additional light to moderate rain showers ongoing especially one moderate shower near the Minster area. So overall, we can expect these showers to continue throughout our Friday as this upper level trough still really hangs around. But just to the north of this trough, we have a lobe of chilly air that's going to sink southward and provide a threat for frost coming up in the forecast. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Current temperatures right now far from producing frost. 52 in Lima, 50 in Salina, 55 in Finley, 53 degrees in Upper Sandusky. But as we look at your morning frost, and freeze risk. Monday morning is the morning to watch for that possible frost and maybe even some freezing temperatures across the area. 33 degrees is the forecast for Monday morning. So if you have any sensitive plants such as mums, be sure to bring them in as they could possibly be damaged if left outside. So look at Skycast to plan out the rest of your Friday. Overall, these scattered showers will be the theme throughout the remainder of the day with blustery conditions. Notice those wind arrows are out of the northwest and moving pretty briskly. So as we go into the latter part of tonight, overnight, we do notice that the shower chances dwindle a little bit, but then a reinvigoration of shower chances look likely for Saturday as a secondary disturbance moves through. Those chances continue into the mid to late evening hours Saturday before really tapering off as you get into the early overnight hours on Sunday. So additional rainfall amounts now through Sunday in addition to what we've already received, a 10 to a quarter of an inch more of rainfall with localized amounts of a quarter of an inch or more across the area. So as we plan your Friday 7 a.m. through 5 p.m., 70 to 80 percent chances for showers and windy conditions. Temperatures rising only very gradually, 51 at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 53, 57 for the high at 3 p.m. And notice those winds even gusting at times up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. And it is football Friday night across the area, so what can you expect at that stadium? So overall, I'm going to call a penalty for a personal foul weather. So kickoff, 54 degrees with scattered showers, breezy conditions. And for the final play, still can't rely on isolated to scattered shower with temperatures at 49, but overall, it's going to feel quite raw when you're outside at the football game. Looking at the seven day forecast, cool temperatures will be the theme Sunday morning, 37 degrees to start off Sunday, 52 for the high Sunday afternoon, but look at Sunday night into Monday morning. You'll need that coat for sure. 33 degrees from Monday morning with frost very likely. Very likely we'll need at least a frost advisory, if not a freeze warning for Monday morning. That'll likely be issued in about 24 hours or so. But Monday afternoon will rebound nicely actually to almost 60 degrees, mostly sunny, and then even better for Tuesday, 72 degrees, partly cloudy, breezy, 69 on Wednesday. We'll watch chance for showers return for Thursday and Friday. Still lots of questions about those.